Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, and in this video, I'm actually going to be going over some stuff that I recommend um, you to get if you have T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, or if you have any, you know, cellular home internet as your uh, internet provider. Um, so let's actually get into this video. Um, so this stuff is mainly going to be just to be able to uh, boost your signal uh, quality and your speeds. Um, so this is, you know, definitely a good thing, you know, if you want to be able to do that, um, you know, which honestly, who wouldn't want to be able to do that? Um, but it is actually going to come as a, as a cost, you know, I'm going to, you know, go over what this stuff costs, you know, in the video. Um, so you don't actually absolutely have to do this, um, if you don't want to, but I, um, you know, I'm just, you know, letting you guys know what I recommend, um, you know, if you have T-Mobile 5G home internet or any cellular home internet, um, this stuff will work for any of them, you know, with the, um, whether it be 4G home internet or 5G home internet, um, so just keep that in mind. Um, so the first thing that I'm actually going to recommend um, is actually a uh, third-party gateway or modem um, router combination, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've, you know, done a lot of speed test videos on my channel, uh, you know, with the T-Mobile 5G home internet, um, and that's what we have, you know, that's we, who we have for our provider, um, in, in here in South Jersey, here in South Jersey. Um, so, um, you know, uh, I, I actually recommend getting a third party gateway, you know, or at least for, you know, us, I, you know, recommended it. Um, you know, I'm not, you know, telling you guys to actually go out and buy it, you know, I'm just letting you guys know this is what I recommend. Um, this is actually what we use, um, or what I use for our, you know, 5G home internet. Um, so what we actually have is the, uh, Chester Cheetah version 2, um, Wi-Fi gateway slash modem, cellular gateway slash modem. Um, and as you can see, you know, it does have a price tag there of $450. Um, actually the one that I had, um, or the one that I have is actually, uh, more than that. Um, I actually paid around $595. Um, but, um, it actually does work wonders because it have, allows you to band lock, um, and stuff like that, you know, it allows you to do so much, you know, it, it allows VPN access. Um, it, it just has a lot of stuff, you know, you'll have to look into it more. Um, there's actually a guy, um, on YouTube, I can actually leave a link down below into the channel, um, you know, to his channel, I'll leave a link down below in the description, um, to his channel, The Nader Tater, um, I'm not gonna go over it too much in this video, but he goes more into detail, um, about the Chester Cheetah, uh, products, um, you know, then, and there's also a version 1 up here, um, and he goes more into detail about a comparison between those two, um, but I will say there's not really much of a difference, um, you know, between the version 1 and the version 2, um, the version 2 will give you a little bit better speeds, but the version 1, um, you know, is still very good, um, like he said on his channel, so like I said, I'll leave the link down below to the Nader Tater channel, um, and he goes more into detail about those, um, but there are also other ones, there's also, uh, the, uh, 5G Invisigig, um, that's another one, you know, the Ninja, um, you know, he has a couple of, uh, different ones on here, um, the Trident, um, there's another Ninja there, um, and there's antennas and stuff that he sells on here, there's, uh, you know, that one actually says Cat 16, um, the Punch 4G, so that's actually one for 4G only, it looks like, um, yeah, it says, uh, 4G, uh, LTEA modem, um, so there's a bunch of different ones down here, you know, Z Open WRT, um, you know, Dual Band 2.4, uh, 2.4, uh, 5, um, you know, there's a, there's a bunch of different ones, um, open WRT modem bundle, um, so, yeah, he's, he's definitely got a bunch of different ones on here, um, but his top, uh, ones are actually the Chester Cheetahs, the, uh, version 1, um, and the version 2, and then also the Invisigig ones, um, and then the Ninjas, you know, those are the most ones, um, the most popular ones, um, so, uh, that's basically the third-party gateway, um, you know, that I wanted to talk about, the, um, one that we have, like I said, is the version 2, um, that's the one that we have, and we have the most reliability with in our area, um, but like I said, it is very area-specific, I've said that in my videos before, um, you know, depending on what you need, you know, you, you might be able to get away with, you know, just using the default gateway, the stock T-Mobile 5G home internet gateway, um, or stock Verizon home internet gateway, or, um, you know, stock AT&T, you know, any cellular, 
um, you know, gateway, um, you know, you might get faster speed, you know, with, you know, the stock stuff. Um, so anyway, that's that. Um, and then, uh, the second thing I actually want to talk about here, um, is actually, uh, I want to talk about, I actually forgot to put it here. Um, let me actually, uh, type it in here on Amazon. And, uh, let me type, uh, in the, uh, router here, uh, Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro 6E. So, um, I don't know why that's coming up, Amazon Essentials, but, um, but anyway, um, the next thing I want to talk about here is actually, um, you know, Wi-Fi. I want to talk about, you know, what you should get, um, you know, or what I recommend, you know, getting, um, you know, when it comes to your Wi-Fi for the, uh, T-Mobile 5G home internet or any cellular home internet. Um, so, I actually, I'm a big Google person, so I'm, you know, Google all the way. Um, you know, I, I have Google Pixel phones, I have Google Watches, um, I have Google Nest Hubs, I have Google Security Cameras, um, I have Google, uh, I have the Google uh, TV, the Google um, Chromecast, the Google TV 4Ks, um, so I'm a huge Google fan, you know, I have, uh, you know, Raspberry Pis, um, running, you know, Linux versions, you know, basically Google, because Google owns Android, um, so I'm a huge Google fan, so I, you know, I myself, you know, I have to stay in the ecosystem, so I, you know, recommend, you know, the Nest Wi-Fi Pro 6E, um, and actually I recommend this anyway, because it's actually a lot faster, um, than most of the other ones out there on the market, um, so you can come in here, you know, you can pick whatever you want, um, you know, you can, you know, you can even look for other ones, you know, there's other options out there, um, other than this one, I'll actually show you guys another one in a moment, um, but I recommend this one because this one actually supports the fastest, um, you know, bands. This one actually supports 6 gigahertz. Um, and this one also, you know, supports Wi-Fi Pro um, or Wi-Fi 6E, which is actually a really good thing. Um, so you can come in here, you know, you can, you can depend. Um, it depends on what you need, you know, a one-pack, a two-pack, um, you know, a three-pack. I actually have four of them, um, so I can actually show you guys that. I actually have them on my Google Home app here. And actually open up the Google Home app and show you. Um, and then it says four points. Um, so I actually have one in the dining room downstairs. I have one in the garage. Um, I have one upstairs. And then I have one um, also in a porch downstairs as well. Um, so we got, you know, Wi-Fi pretty much covered here. Um, so that's that, you know, that's the Wi-Fi that I would recommend anyway. Um, another one that I can recommend is that actually the Amazon Eero uh, six mesh Wi-Fi system, um, and this is actually a really good one, too, I actually had this before I got the Google one, um, so this is a really good one as well, so if you want something, um, you know, fast and reliable, this is also another good one, um, but also keep in mind that this is actually just standard six, this is Wi-Fi six, um, this is not, uh, Wi-Fi six E, um, and it will actually cover less, um, area compared to the Wi-Fi 6E, um, and, and you're not going to get 6 gigahertz bands, so you're not going to get as fast speeds, um, you know, compared to the Google, uh, Nest Wi-Fi Pro 6E, so if it was me, um, you know, I would go for the, for the standard that is now, um, you know, the Wi-Fi 6E, um, you know, the Pro version, I would definitely go with that, um, but if you're on a tight budget, you know, this is definitely a nice pickup, um, you know, I, another, you know, a backup pick, um, you know, and they have other ones on here as well, but I'm not going to get too much into it. Um, but those are, you know, two of the ones that I recommend anyway. Um, so moving on here, um, the next thing that I recommend is getting a really good Ethernet cable. Um, and uh, when it comes to Ethernet cables, you know, I actually have a mixture of them. Um, and you can do the same thing, you know, with the uh, T-Mobile 5G home internet um, or the, you know, uh, Verizon home internet, you know, the, uh, you know, the Verizon 5G home internet or 4G home internet, um, AT&T 4G or 5G home internet, um, you know, any cellular home internet. Um, so um, anyway, um, with the Cat 5E, um, I recommend either a Cat 5E or a Cat 6. Um, so I can go over here and actually show you guys the Cat 6 cables as well. Um, so the Cat 6 cables are going to be a little bit more expensive um, because they're the standard. Actually, the Cat, Cat 8 is actually the new standard. Um, but, you know, you, you don't really need gigabit uh, Ethernet speeds for, uh, for the 5G home Internet. And let me actually show you guys here. 
Um, as you can see, it says uh, I typed in Cat 5e max speed versus Cat 6. Um, and it says uh, Cat 5e supports 2.5 gigabytes uh, per second. Um, and then it says Cat 5. Uh, it says Cat 6 supports 5 gigabytes per second, so um, you're not going to be getting, you know, gigabit speeds with the 5G home internet, you know, that's just not going to happen. Um, so either of these cables are going to work fine, you know, I have a mixture of them, like I said, um, you know, I use Cat 5E, um, and I also use Cat 6, but I use Cat 6, um, I actually use Cat 6 when I'm running, um, you know, the cable, um, like the, the cable from the modem, um, or the third-party gateway, I should say, third-party gateway slash modem Wi-Fi router, whatever you want to call it, um, I actually make sure that I run Cat6, um, from all of my nodes as well, um, I run Cat6, um, from my Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro 6E nodes to the, um, you know, to the Tester Cheetah, um, version 2, um, so I make sure that they're Cat 6, I would definitely recommend making sure that they're Cat 6, um, or higher, you know, you can also go with Cat 8, um, but you don't really need that, you know, you don't really need Cat 8, um, you know, like I said, I run a mixture, um, between Cat 5E and Cat 6, but make sure, um, that they are Cat 5E, um, or Cat 6, because if they're not Cat 5E, um, and they're Cat 5, just regular Cat 5, um, Cat5 only only gets like 100 megabytes per second um, download, so that's very slow, um, so that's limited. So definitely make sure it's Cat5e um, or Cat6. So I would recommend, um, you know, I would recommend if you're doing this new, um, if you're starting new, you know, you're starting out new, um, I would recommend getting Cat6 everything. Um, you know, that, that way you would be set for the future as well, you know, if, if uh, you know, T-Mobile 5G home internet or, um, you know, uh, you know, any cellular home internet gets gigabit speeds, um, you know, you would be set. I mean, you would be set with either of them, um, but just keep in mind that Cat 6 does get better speeds, um, you know, with gigabit than, um, you know, the Cat 5E, um, you know, just keep that in mind. But for now, um, you know, it's definitely, you know, fine in 2024, um, you know, it's definitely fine, you know, just to get, get the Cat 5E, um, or the Cat 6 cable, so definitely, um, you know, do your research on that, you know, you can, um, like I said, I, I basically did your research for you on that, um, so that's basically, you know, that, that's basically the cables, um, and I actually recommend this brand, let me actually show you guys, um, if it'll come up here, um, I recommend the flat cable, um, I'm trying to find one here. I'm trying to find the brand that I actually recommend. Yeah, here it is. Um, so this is actually the brand that I recommend. I actually buy these, and I've actually had very good luck with them. Um, and I'll actually leave the link down below in the description to this brand. Um, they're actually called Ga uh, Cable Geeker, um, and they're made they're made very good, guys. They're a very thin cable. Um, this is actually the Cat 6 version of them. Um, I can actually try to find the Cat 5 version. Um, let me see if I can find that. Um, doesn't look like it's coming up here. Uh, let me type it in. Actually, wait, that might have been it right there. Is that it? That's actually a Cat 5, uh, let me actually go to their store and type in, uh, Cat 5E. Yeah, if I could spell, sorry. <laughs> So, uh, doesn't look like they just, they, doesn't look like they have Cat 5E, just Cat 5E, that's weird. Um, Cat 7, they have Cat 8. Um, so it doesn't look like they actually sell Cat 5E, um, just Cat 5E, or actually that is Cat 5E, actually. Um, it says at Cat 5E price, but, oh, uh, yeah, it says Cat 5E, um, at Cat 5E price, but higher bandwidth. So, you're not going to get, you know, much higher bandwidth, you know, you're not going to get much, you know, better, um, you know, compared to the, um, you know, unless you have gigabit speed, you know, which you're not going to have with a cellular connection. Um, so, you know, like I said, um, you know, if you're first starting out, um, you know, with this, if you're going to, you know, first, you know, be first starting out with this, um, you know, you can do a mixture, you know, like I do, um, or you can, you know, just get fat, uh, cat, you know, six, um, you don't have to really worry about, you know, Cat 5e, um, so that's basically that, let me actually, uh, move on here, 
um, and then uh, talk about the last thing here. Um, so the last thing here that I actually want to talk about um, is actually external antennas that you can actually buy. Um, and, you know, you might need these or you might not. Um, you know, it depends on your area. It's very area specific, like I've said. Um, so this is actually the ones that I recommend. I actually have waveform antenna. Um, I've talked about this on my channel before. Um, I actually have the, uh, let me actually see here. It's not actually on here, so I'm actually going to have to go back to Amazon. Um, and this is actually the one that I have right here. It's actually called the MIMO uh, 4x4 panel antenna, the waveform uh, 4x4 antenna. Um, it's actually called a legacy kit now. Um, they actually have it uh, for a 10% coupon, so you can actually get a 10% off coupon. Um, and also, you can actually get a 5% uh, off um, coupon as well. Um, there's actually a, uh, coupon from Nader Tater, um, that actually takes, uh, 5% off, so you can watch videos on his channel, um, about how to get that 5% off, um, so if you do that, you would actually be getting 15% off, um, if you use his coupon code along with that 10% coupon, um, so that's actually a really good deal, um, but anyway, um, this antenna is going to work with all of them. Um, this will work with the uh, T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, this will work with the uh, the Verizon 5G home internet, the 4G home internet. Um, you know, it'll work with any of the, um, you know, cellular home internets out there. Um, so they also do have an updated version. Um, and they have different ones. You can check them out on their website. I'll leave the website down below in the uh, link. Um, you know, I'll leave the link down below in the uh, description, um, you know, of the of the channel. Um, but, uh, you know, they have different ones, um, you know, that you can check out. But this is actually the one that I have. I have the Legacy one. Um, and I'm actually going to talk about more. Um, I'm going to talk more about this, why I actually kept this one um, and actually didn't upgrade to the newest one. Um, and why I'm probably not going to be upgrading to the newest one. But I'll, you know, get more into detail about that um, in another video. Um, but anyway, you know, that's the legacy one, and that's the one that I have, that's the one that I actually recommend, um, so let me actually go to the website real quick here, and as you can see here, you know, they have a really, you know, well laid out website, a really nice website, um, and you can go to the, uh, hamburger menu here, like I showed you guys, like you can see there, um, and then you can just click on external antennas. Um, and then the list of them come up here. So um, they also do have them all on Amazon, but it's better to show you guys this list. Um, it's just easier, you know, for me to show you guys this list. They have the Quad Pro uh, 4x4 antenna, which is actually the newest one um, over the Legacy one, which I just showed you guys. Um, and they also have the Quad Mini. So that's one, you know, for more like RVs and stuff, um, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, it depends on your needs. And then they have the uh, quad uh, two, the or actually not the quad, the uh, the memo two by two panel external. Um, that's actually the smaller one for hotspots and routers, um, and that's only one hundred and seventy nine dollars. So that's definitely not bad. Um, but you know, like I said, it depends on your needs, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, you know, for me, you know, and I, they also have cellular boosters as well. Um, you know, and stuff like that, so they, uh, you know, they have a lot of stuff, you know, for large buildings, um, you know, they have stuff like that, um, so they're a really good company, I highly recommend them, um, so, uh, that's basically the video, guys, you know, I just wanted to get a, you know, a decent video out there, um, you know, somewhat of a quick video, um, you know, and talk about, you know, the stuff that I recommend, um, you know, for, uh, you know, if you have T-Mobile 5G home internet, um, to try to get the best out of it, you know, to get the best signal, um, you know, the fastest speeds and stuff like that, um, you know, not only T-Mobile 5G home internet, but Verizon 5G home internet, um, you know, AT&T 5G home internet, um, you know, even if you have 4G home internet, you know, this stuff will work for all that. Um, you know, it's it's compatible, um, you know, with 4G or 5G. Um, so just keep that stuff in mind. Um, but that's, you know, basically the video, guys. You know, I just wanted to get this video out there. Um, I will leave the links down below in the description to the, um, you know, the stuff that I mentioned in this video. So um, basically, yeah, that's the video, guys. Um, like I said, I just wanted to get this video out there and talk about this. Um, 
and I will be doing more speed test videos. I'm going to be doing more speed test videos um, tomorrow. Um, it's actually supposed to be uh, somewhat, uh, you know, nicer weather today. You know, it's not supposed to be raining or anything. Um, so I will be back with, you know, some speed test videos um, today. I'm probably going to get to bed after this video. Um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, I just wanted to get this video out there. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.